So they were asked me, also asked me to take a look at what's coming next, the, you know, the crystal ball view. Uh, the people in the lower right, that's a New York Times experiment. They sent out Google Cardboard for virtual reality in their Sunday paper. So Star Wars, you can get Google Cardboard and you will get uh, video clips, depending on if you want to be on the light side or the dark side or whatever that is. Um, <coughs> did I say that right? The right side? Or, I don't know. Um, virtual reality can change the movie business entirely. And there's a lot of this discussion ongoing now as to what that will mean. Gaming and how that's used. There's a lot of, each service has its own games. Uh, the war colleges using 3D printers and war games to do simulations so you can see cities and tactics in 3D and practice them. Anybody know who that guy is in the upper right? Anybody a gamer? Okay, you know? Okay, you're right, that's PewDiePie. He's, he lives in Sweden. He has 39 million followers on YouTube. So I went to YouTube to look at this. Why, why is this guy so popular? And the videos are of him playing video games, going, woo, it didn't kill that one, woo. It was like, why is this interesting? Um, he made $21 million last year promoting gaming. What is the future of gaming? Virtual reality and those apps. America's Army, that game is the largest selling one in the world. I think we're going to see a lot more of this, a lot more of these applications. So what is the future of movie theaters? We're going to see live gaming in, in theaters? I'm sorry? I'm sorry, ma'am. I succumbed to the charade. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's already. I know. Yeah. So what do you think about theaters being used for live gaming? Because live gaming is huge in South Korea. It's going to be big on YouTube. It's more about the event. Like that. It's more about the event. You know, Star Wars would be a good example of like limited releases or scarce. Yeah. Doing a lot of live uh, broadcasts of like Broadway. And <laughs> right. Yeah, we're going to see a lot of changes just because of these few things. That's right out there on the edge now with how live gaming is going to happen on YouTube and I think some of the other carriers, whether it's uh, Google or some of the others who will want to compete with that. So that's the only thing in my crystal ball is what will this mean? Because one of the things we're talking about with the producers for this movie is how do we insert a video game in a movie to bring in a whole new audience to watch it? And can they play it while watching the movie? That's another level of technology. So. We'll see where that goes.